it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is an unboxing video. I purchased some items from a online shop called Nomadal Store and they were having like a cyber, I think it was Black Friday actually, a Black Friday week sale. And I got a couple of things. This was heavily influenced by Girl and Quill and uh, I will of course leave the link below. But anyways, I just opened it up. I haven't seen what's inside it is, and I wanted to show you the unboxing. So here it is. Uh, I'm just going to remove my invoice. I actually had a couple of questions and uh, I think his name is Charles. He was really, really helpful. I had emailed him several times actually and he was really responsive. Um, they're, I think, based in Belgium, and it looks like he included some stickers, which I absolutely love stickers. Um, sorry, I didn't show it to you properly here. The Kawiko and the, I guess this is his logo for the shop. This is the Kawiko Sport uh, information sheet. There's like a thank you note here. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you for buying from Nomado Store. Best wishes from Belgium. That's really nice. Oh, sorry, I don't know if I was in frame there. And um, then a couple of postcards. I love postcards. I love using them, uh, sending them to pen pals and things. They are. They actually also sell uh, other like superior labor items and uh, other brand name items as well. So let me see. Let's get right into it. So it's packaged really nicely. There's a lot of these uh, red squiggly things. My son is going to love playing with this. All right. So, can you guess what it is? <laughs> it is the Superior Labor Leather Pen Roll. And it's actually really light. I thought it would be heavier. Okay, let's start with this one here. I I ordered a fountain pen. Actually, it was it was a really good price uh, compared to the stuff in Japan. This one was about sixteen euros because of the sale. I think there was a twelve percent off sale, uh, but it was almost half. I think it was almost half the price if I compared it to Japan. And it's this clear one, and it has some gold hardware and a gold nib. I think the standard nib size. Oh, he ordered the fine. I was. I think the standard one that he had was uh, medium, and I asked if he had any fine or extra fine. He was unable to obtain the extra fine from his. I guess the distributor. They didn't have any in stock at the time, so he sent me a fine. And then he sent me an email later on, like apologizing for that, and said that if I make another order uh, in the future, he'll include the extra fine uh, nib for free. So that's really, really kind of him to do that. Super excited. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to use the blue cartridge that's inside, but I really wanted the uh, clear one. I have the, I don't know if I have the other one. Uh, there's the Lamy and then also my Pereira. My collection is increasing slowly. Um, but <clears throat> I was really struggling between the clear, I think it's called the skeleton, this clear one and the burgundy one. The burgundy one looked really nice, but I decided to go for this. I'm loving this gold hardware. And I or also ordered several clips because I don't have one for my other fountain pen that I have here. I wanted to order a clip and the clips were 237 euros. Once again, it was about half the price if I ordered it from Japan. So there's a gold one there and then the silver one here. I think they're two different designs. Uh, this is the retro clip. This is so pretty. 
I know it's just a clip and it's something really simple but for me it's just so pretty so this is the retro clip and then this is I don't know what this one is called I think this is the regular sport one it's not on the invoice I'm not too sure I gotta double check so you can see there's the logo on the side it's so pretty I hope it's in focus but anyway so there's I want I bought the silver clip for this one and then because of the gold hardware I bought the gold clip for this one so here it is the superior labor pen roll I don't know what the technical term is the leather pen roll and this one is in mid brown and you can hear the leather sound it's so nice uh, but I got the lighter color looks like there's a tag inside here superior labor we take pride in craftsmanship and never skimp on time and effort I actually wanted so the story is I actually contacted superior labor in Japan because I wanted this specific style they had a different style um, they, they're selling a, a different style in various stores around Japan but it's not the same like it's not like I find that the uh, little tag here it's a bit different and I wanted this tag and the leather seemed a bit different and there's also a stamp up here and so I emailed them and asked them if they're if they ever sell this type here or if this is just like an overseas type of thing but they never got back to me so I just figured why not just get it from this online shop uh, you know there's a sale anyways like a 12% off sale and so this is what it looks like it comes with some nice brass hardware it's really sturdy Can you hear the leather <laughs> it sounds so good but it's really um like i thought it would be more stiff but it's quite like it's flexible or maybe i'm just used to stiffer leather but it's really not that bad unless maybe charles conditioned it i don't know let me compare it to a round traveler's notebook there. I'm going to bring a camel. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff in my camel one right now. But there's the camel. There's the brown. The sunlight is coming in from the side here. So I don't know if that makes a difference. But there's the color. really close to this this is more I feel like there's more yellow in this color in this camel color this is more like an orangey it's like a warmer color I think <laughs> I'm not really good with <laughs> that but I think this store carries another color like this closer to this brown like a darker brown but I wanted to get the lighter color and I think uh, got bomb kuchen or bomb kuhen I'm not too sure uh, they sell also the natural leather one but I wanted this light colored one uh, let me stick some pens and show you what it looks like uh, I'm just going to randomly stick pens Okay, <laughs> let's see. And I think you can just fold it like this so it's like a nice, kind of like a clutch almost. You don't have to roll it up all the way. You can carry it around like this. Oh, it sounds so nice. Can you hear that? I'm really happy that it's not so heavy. I thought it would be really heavy. So like this would be perfect. You see that? And then you can also roll it up. I took the scissors out um, just because maybe rolling it would be a little bit difficult with the scissors. So I'm just going to see how this works. Oh, that's really nice. Can you hear that leather? It's crazy. I imagine it getting a lot more soft. 
as I use it, but it's already quite soft. So that was the quick look at the leather pen roll from Superior Labor. Very, very happy with this purchase. I'm also really happy with the customer service provided by Nomad Old Store. Really, really um, excellent customer service, I must say. I had so many questions, so I kept on emailing him, and he responded right away. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, did you purchase anything for Black Friday or Cyber Monday? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.